Good day, YouTube. Today we're doing just a bit of a quick RAM and CPU comparison between Windows 11 on the left hand side here versus Windows Server 2019 on the right hand side here. So without further ado, I'll uh, load up the, uh, the the task manager there if I can. Uh, I'm not very used to Windows 11, but I'll find it. And Windows 10. So let's let the, these puppies load up and see what's going on. So basically, move across to the performance tab. Wow, that one's really slow. Okay, so we have Windows 11 really peeking out. Maybe it's trying to do an update or something there, although I haven't let it, so I'm not sure what's happening. And CPU on the Windows Server 2019, nicely idling off. Uh, well, it was. Oh, well, it is. Yeah, there. Now, in terms of RAM, 1.6 gigabytes of RAM on boot up for Windows 11, whereas Windows Server 2019, 1.1 gigabyte of RAM on boot up. Now, this is pretty typical. Windows Server 2019, uh, it's trying to use as little resources as possible as it is used for an actual server environment, databases, websites, you name it, it's got it, and it needs to keep its, uh, its upfront hardware utilization down as much as it can. But uh, we are dealing with about half a gigabyte less of RAM uh, needed on boot up for Windows Server 2019. So always take these values with a bit of a grain of salt, but it is what it is. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching for now, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.